Shotgun, 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 shotgun. Oh, yes, shotgun. Over there. Um, I made it. Are we live? Hey guys, today we're gonna be reading the uh. entire B movie script. Okay, guys, <laughs> we're gonna read the entire B movie script. Uh, hi, Feep Master, Fepe, Feep. I'm gonna just go to Feep. <laughs> What's going on? Nice! <laughs> I might have to take a break to eat dinner, but we will be reading this. Who gifted you? No, no one gifted me, guys. So what what I'm going to do is I'm going to read it, but if someone gifts me it, we're going to restart all over again. If someone gifts me it, so technically you guys could wait till I get right at the end, and then just gift me. Because whoever gifts me, if you guys give me that ghost pack, I'm going to restart back to the beginning. That's how it's going to go. So, I'm going to launch Fortnite, and I'll keep switching. I'll keep checking, like, every 10 minutes. And if we notice we g get gifted, we're going to restart all the way back to the end of the B-movie. That's what we're going to do instead, instead of just waiting. So, basically, you guys are just going to have to listen to me read this whole thing. And then... Uh... Why is it so big? What the frick? So if any of you guys want to see me torture, you're going to sit here, watch me read the B-movie script, and then you're going to gift me the thing at the exact last second right before I finish. That is if you guys want to see me tor tor be tortured, of course. Alright. So, hopefully I don't die today after passing out after speaking so many words, but. So I just gotta fix my live stream real quick, it's broken, then we're gonna start. Alright, let me have my Fortnite up so we can see if we ever get gifted or not. And then we're just gonna go. We're gonna full send it chat. Okay, chat. Time to time to read. That's 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 get it, I guess. According to all known laws of aviation, there is no way a bee should be able to fly. Its wings are too small to get uh, its fat little body off the ground. The bee, of course, flies anyways because bees don't care what humans think is impossible. Yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black, yellow, black. Ooh, black and yellow. Let's shake it up a bit. Barry, breakfast is ready. Ooming. Hang on a sec. Hello, Barry, Adam. Can you believe this is happening? I can't. I'll pick you up. Looking sharp. Use the stairs. Your father paid good money for those. Sorry, I'm excited. Here's the graduate we're very proud of, son. And a, per a perfect report card. All Bs. Very proud. Ma, I got a thing here. You got lint on your fuzz. Ow, that's me. Wave to us. We'll be in row 18, 118,000. Bye. Barry, I told you to stop flying in the house. Hi, Adam. Hi, Barry. Is that fuzz gel? A little. Special day. Graduation. I never thought I'd make it. Three days grade school, three days high school. Those were awkward. Three days college. I'm glad I took a day and hitchhiked around the hive. You did come back different. Hi, Barry. Artie, growing a masta mustache looks good. Hear about Frankie? Yeah. You going to the funeral? No, I'm not. I feel so bad for you. Yeah, I feel bad for me too. And if someone if someone gives me it, I'm going to be happy. But if I, if I have to restart this whole thing, I'm actually going to be kind of pissed. Um, okay. Wait, let me just go post this in the other chat so more people know. Um... um. Movie script. 
Alright, oh, back to reading it, guys. <sighs> Everybody knows, sting someone, you die. Don't waste it on a squirrel. Such a hothead. I guess he could have just gotten out of the way. I love this incorporating an amusement park into our day. That's why we don't need vacations. Boy, a bit of pump under the circumstances. Well, Adam, today we are men. We are. B men. Amen. Hallelujah. Students, faculty, distinguished bees. Welcome D Dean Buswell. Welcome, New Hive City, graduating class of 915. That concludes our ceremonies and begins your career at Honex, Honex Industries. We will pick our job today. I heard it's just orientation. Heads up. Here we go. Keep your hands and antennas inside the tram at all times. I wonder what it will be like. A little scary. Welcome to Honex, a division of Honexco and a part of the Hexagon Group. This is it. Wow. Wow. We know that you, as a bee, have worked your whole life to get to the point where you can work for your whole life. Honey begins when our valiant pollen jocks bring the nectar to the hive. Our top secret formula is automatically color corrected, scent adjusted, and bubble corned into the soothing sweet syrup with its distinctive golden glow, as you know. Honey. That girl's hot. <laughs> She's my cousin. She is? Yes, we're all cousins. Y you're right. You're right. At Hunnex, we constantly strive to improve every aspect of bee existence. These bees are stress testing a new helmet technology. What do you think he makes? Not enough. Here we have the latest of our inventions. The... What does that say? The Krell Man. What does it do? Catches the little strand of honey that hangs after you pour it. Saves us millions. Can anyone work on the Kremlin? Of course, most bee jobs are small ones, but bees know that every small job is done well means a lot. But choose carefully because you'll stay in the job that you pick for the rest of your life. The same job for the rest of your life? I didn't know that. What's the difference? You'll be happy to know the bees as a species haven't had one day off in 27 million years. So you'll just work us to death? We'll sure try. Wow. That blew my mind. What's the difference? How can you say that? One job forever? That's an insane choice to have to make. I'm relieved. Now we only have to make one decision in life. But Adam, how could they have never told us that? Why would you question anything? We're bees. We're the most perfectly functioning society on earth. You ever think maybe work a little too hard, too well here? Like what? Give me one example. I don't know, but you're talking about. I don't know, but you know what I'm talking about. Please clear the gate. Royal Nectar Force on approach. Wait a second. Check it out. Whoa, those are pollen jocks. Wow. I've never seen them this close. They know what it's like outside the hive. Yeah, but some don't come back. Hi, jocks. Hey, jocks. You guys did great. You're monsters. You're sky freaks. I love it. I love it. I wonder where they were. I don't know. Their day is not planned. Outside the hive, flying who knows where, doing who knows what. You can't just decide to be a pollen jock. You have to be bred for that. Right. Look, that's more pollen than you and I will ever see in a lifetime. It's just a status symbol. Bees to make of much of it. Perhaps, unless you're wearing it, and the ladies see you're wearing it. Those ladies? Aren't they our cousins too? Distant, distant. <sighs> Look at these two, a couple of hive harries. Let's have fun with them. Must be dangerous being a pock John. Yeah, once a bear pinned me to a mushroom. He had a paw in my throat, and the other one he was slapping me. Oh my, I didn't never I thought I'd knock him out. What, what, uh, what were you doing this? Trying to alert authorities? I can autograph that. A guy, a, a little gusty out there today, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, gusty. We're hitting Sunflower Patch six miles from here. Oh, gotta take a break for a sec. Oh my goodness. Alright. Anyone say anything in chat? Nope. Alright, we're going back to this. Uh, we're trying to alert authorities. I can autograph that. 
Oh, and little Gusty out there, wasn't it, comrades? Yeah, Gusty. We're hitting the sunflower patch six miles from here tomorrow. Six miles, huh? Barry! A puddle jump for us. Maybe you're not up for us. Maybe I am. You are not. We are going 0900 at, at J gate. What do you think, buzzy boy? Are you B enough? I might be. It depends on what 0900 means. Hey, Hunnex. Dad, you just, you surprised me. You decide what you're interested in? Well, there's a lot of choices, but you only get one. Do you ever get bored of doing the same job every day? Son, let me tell you about stirring. You grab the stick, and you move it around, and you stir it around. You get yourself a due rhythm. It's a beautiful thing. You know, you know, Dad, the more I think about it, maybe the honey field isn't just right for me. You were thinking of what, making a balloon in the most? That's a bad job for a guy with a stinger. Janet, your son's not sure he wants to go into honey. Barry, you are so funny sometimes. I'm not trying to be funny. You're not funny. You're going into honey, our son, to stir. You're going to be a stir? No one's listening to me. Wait till you see the sticks I have. I could say anything right now. I'm going to get an ant tattoo. He's actually doing it? Yeah, yeah, I am. I don't know why, but I am, so. Um, let's open some honey and celebrate. Maybe I'll have pierced my thorax, shave my antenna, shack up with the grasshopper, get a gold tooth, and call everybody dog. I'm so proud. We're starting work today. Today's the day. Come on, all the good jobs will be gone. Yeah, right. Pollen, counting, stunt bee, pouring, stirrer, front desk, hair removal. Is it still available? Hang on, two left. One of them's yours. Congratulations. Step to the side. What'd you get? Picking out the crud stellar. Wow. Couple of newbies? Yes, sir. Our first day. We are ready. Make your choice. You want to go first? No, you. Oh, my. What's available? Restrooms attendance open. Not for the reason you'd think. Any chance of getting the Krellman? Sure, you're on. I'm oh, sorry. The Krellman just closed. Wax monkeys always open. The Krellman just opened again. What happened? The bee died. Makes an opening. See? He's dead. Another dead one. Deady. Deadified. Two more dead. Dead from the neck up. Dead from the dead down. That's life. Oh, this is so hard. Weeding, cooling, stunt pouring, pour, stir, humming, inspector number seven, lint coordination, stripe supervisor, my wrangling, and Barry. What do you think I should? Barry? Barry! Alright. Um, Alright. We've got the sunflower patch in quadrant nine. What happened to you? Uh, you have like two hours left. Well, I feel bad. I imagine they donate on the thing on the last letter. If someone donates, I'm going to be like happy, but like mad at the exact same time. Because like I want that pack, but like. I want that pack, but like I really want to finish this. That'd be crazy, dude. Alright, well, let's go back to this. What am I saying? Alright, we've got Sunflower Patch in Quadrant 9. What happened? Where are you? I'm going out. Out Out where? Out there. Oh, no. I have to. Before I go to work for the rest of my life. You're gonna die. You crazy. Hello? Another call coming in. If anyone's feeling brave, there's a Korean on Delhi. There's a Korean Delhi on 83rd. That gets their roses today. Hey, guys. Look at that. Isn't the kid we saw yesterday? Hold on. Flight decks restricted. It's okay, Lou. We're going to take him up. Really? Feeling lucky, are you? It's a sign here. Just initial that. Oh, thank you. Okay. You got a rain advisory today? And as you all know, bees cannot fly in the rain, so be careful. As always, watch your brooms, hockey sticks, Dogs, birds, bears, bats. Also, I got a couple of reports on root beer being poured on us. Murphy's in a home with a couple babbling like a cicada. It's awful. Remind a reminder for your rookies. Um, B law number one. Absolutely talking to no human. No talking to humans. All right. Launch positions. Buzz, 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 buzz. Black and yellow. Hello. You ready for this hot shot? Yeah, yeah, bring it on. Wind check. Antenna check. Nectar pack check. Wings check. Stinger check. Scared out of my shorts check. Okay, ladies, let's move it out. 
Pound those petunias, you striped stem suckers. All of you, drain those flowers. Wow, I'm out. I can't believe I'm out. So blue. I feel fast and free. Box kite. Fl wow, flowers. This is the blue leader. We have roses visual. Bring it around 30 degrees and hold. Roses, 30 degrees, Roger. Bringing it around. Stand to the side, kid. It's got a bit of a kick. That one's a nectar collector. Ever see pollination up close? No, sir. Pick up some pollen here. Spook it over there. Maybe dash them over there. Pinch of that one. See? It's a bit of magic. That's amazing. Why do we do it? It's pollen power. The more pollen, the more flowers. The more nectar, and the more honey for us. Um, cool. I'm picking up a lot of bright yellow. Could be daisies. Don't we need those? Copy that visual. Wait. One of the flowers seems to be on the move. So again, you're reporting a moving flower. Affirmative. That was on the line. This is the coolest. What is it? I don't know, but I'm loving this color. It smells good. Not like a flower, but I like it. Yeah, fuzzy. Chemically. Careful, guys. It's a little grabby. My sweet lord of bees. Candy brain. Get off there. Problem. Guys, this could be bad. Affirmative. Very close. Gonna hurt. <sighs> Mama's little boy, we were way out of position. Rookie coming into you like a missile. Help me, I don't think these are flowers. Should we tell him? I think he knows. What is it? Match point. Can you can start packing. Um. You're right out of position, rookie. Coming in, you like a missile. Help me. I don't think these are flowers. Sh should we tell him? I think he knows. What is this? Match point. You think you can start packing up, honey, because you're about to eat it. Yowzer. Gross. There's a bee in the car. Do something. I'm driving. Hi, bee. He's back there. He's going to sting me. Nobody move. If you don't move, he won't sting you. Freeze. He blinked. Spray him, granny. What are you doing? Wow, the tension level out here is unbelievable. I got to get home. Can't fly in the rain. Can't fly in the rain. Can't fly in the rain. Mayday, mayday. Be going down. Ken, could you please close the window? Ken, could you please close the window? Check out my new resume. I made it a fold brochure. You see? Folds out. Oh, no. More humans. I don't need this. What was that? Maybe this time, this time, this time, this time, this time. This drapes. This is diabolical. This it's fantastic. Got all my special skills. My top ten favorite movies. What's number one? Star Wars? Nah, I don't go for that stuff. That kind of stuff. No wonder we, we shouldn't talk to them. They're out of their minds. When I leave a job interview, they're flabbergasted. Can't believe what I say. There's the sun. Maybe that's the way out. I don't remember the sun having a big 75 on it. Predicted global warming. I could. It could feel... I could feel it getting hotter at first, thought it was just me. Wait, stop, B. Stand back. These are winter boots. Wait, don't kill me. You know I'm allergic to them. This could kill me. Why does his life, honey, have less value than yours? Why does his life, honey, have less value mine? Is that your statement? I'm just saying all life has value. You don't know what he's capable of feeling. My brochure. There you go, little guy. I'm not scared of him. It's an allergic thing. Put that on your resume brochure. My whole face could puff up. Make it one of your special skills. Knocking someone out is also a special skill. Right by Vanessa. Thanks. Vanessa, next week, yogurt night? Sure can. You know, whatever. Or you could grab a car c carob chips on the bar. <sighs> I'm going to pass out, dudes, I swear. Dudes, can we take a break? Let's see if anything is anything. Um, why did you go silent after you read my announcement? No, I was just reading it, that's why. I was just... Oh, I'm gonna pass out, dudes. <sighs> Wait, webcam's going off for a sec. Wait, wait, let me put my webcam back now. Can you guys see webcam again? Yeah, oh wait, no, I gotta flip it around. There you go. Okay, back to reading again.
This is so painful, boys. Supposed to be less calories. Bye, I gotta say something. She saved my life. I gotta say something. Alright, here it goes. Nah, what should I say? It's, I could really get in trouble. It's B-Law. You're not supposed to talk to humans. I can't believe I'm doing this. I've got you. Oh, I can't do it. Come on. No. Yes. No. Do it. I can't. How should I start? You like jazz? No, that's not good. Here she comes, speaky fool. Hi. I'm sorry? You're talking. Yes, I know. You're talking. I'm so sorry. No, it's okay. It's fine. I know. I'm dreaming. But I don't recall going to bed. Well, I'm sure this is very disconcerting. This is a bit of a surprise. I mean, you're a bee. I am. I am not supposed to be doing this. But they were all trying to kill me, and if it wasn't for you, I had to thank you. It's just how I was raised. Um, that was a little weird. I'm talking with a bee. Yeah. I'm talking to a bee, and the bee is talking to me. I just want to say I'm thankful. girl. Grateful. I'll leave now. Wait, how did you learn to do that? What? The talking thing. Same way you did. I guess mama, dada, honey, you pick it up. That's very funny. Yeah. Bees are funny. If we didn't laugh, we'd cry with what we'd have to deal with. Anyway, can I get you something? Like what? I don't know. I mean, you don't. I don't know. Coffee? Um, I don't want to put you out. It's no trouble. It takes two minutes. I hate to impose. Don't be ridiculous. Actually, I would love a cup. Hey, do you want rum cake? I shouldn't have some. No, I can't. Come on. I'm trying to lose a couple micrograms. Where? These stripes don't help. You look great. I don't know if I, if you, I don't know if you know anything about fashion. Are you alright? No. He's making the tie in the cab as they're making up Madison. He finally gets there. He runs up the steps into the church. The wedding is on. And he says, watermelon. I thought you said watermelon. Why would I marry a watermelon? Is that a bee joke? That's the kind of stuff we do. Yeah, different. So what are you going to do, Barry? <sighs> oh, I'm so tired, dudes, already. <sighs> uh, so what are you gonna do, Barry? About work? I don't know. I wanted, I wanted to do my part for the hive, but I can't do it the way they want me. I know how you feel. You do. My parents wanted me to become a lawyer or a doctor, but I wanted to become a florist. Or really, my own interest is flowers. Our new queen was just elected with the same campaign slogan. Anyway, if you look, there's my hive right there. You see it in the sheep meadow? Yes. I'm right off the turtle pond. No way, I know that area. I lost a toe ring there once. Why do girls put rings on their toes? Why not? It's like putting a hat on your knee. Maybe I'll try that. You all right? Fine, ma'am. Oh, yeah, fine. Just having two cups of coffee. Anyway, this has been great. Thanks for the coffee. Yeah, it's no each other. Sorry I couldn't finish it. If I did, I'd be up the rest of my life. Are you? Can you take this? Can I take this piece with me? Here, I have a crumb. Yeah, thanks. All right. Well, then, I guess I'll see you around or not. Okay, Barry. And thank you so much again for before. Oh, that, that was nothing. Well, nothing, but... Well, not nothing, but anyway, this po can't possibly work. He's all set to go. We may as well try it. Okay, Dave, pull the chute. Sounds amazing. It was amazing. It's the scariest moment of my life. Humans, I can't believe you were with humans. Giant, scary humans. What were they like? Huge and crazy. They talk crazy. They eat crazy, giant things. Drive crazy. Do they try and kill you like on TV? Some of them, but most, some of them don't. How do you get back? How did you get back, Poodle? You did it, and I'm glad you see everything you wanted me to experience mm -hmm. I have to just start reading this really fast so I can get this done with Um, you had your experience, now you can pick up your, jo your job well. Well, 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 I met someone, you did? Was she bee-ish? A wasp? No, your parents will kill you. No, 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 not a wasp. Spider? I'm not attracted to spiders. You know, it's the hottest thing with eight legs and uh, I can't get by the face. It was, she, she's human. No, no, it's the bee, y'all. You want to break the bee law? Her name is Vanessa. Oh, boy, she's so nice, and she's a florist. No, no, you're not dating a human florist. We're not dating. You're flying outside the hive talking to humans that attack our homes. Power washes M81 180 with a stick of dynamite. She saved my life, and she understands me. This is over. Eat this. This is not over. What it was that? They call it a crumb. It was so stingy and strippy. It's not what they eat. It falls off what they eat. You know what a Cinnabon is? No, it's bread and cinnamon frosting, and they heat it up. Sit down, really hot. 
listen to me, we are not them, we're us, this, there's us and there's them, yeah, yes, but who can deny that the heart that is yearn, yearning, yearn heart, 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 his yearning. There's no yearning. Stop yearning. Listen to me. You have to start thinking B, my friend. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. Thinking B. There he is in the pool. You know what the problem is, Barry? I gotta start thinking B. How much longer will this go on? It's been three days. Why aren't you working? I've got big life decisions to think about. What life? You have no life. You have no job. You're barely a B. Would it kill you to make a little honey? Barry, come on. Your father is talking to you. Martin, would you talk to him? Barry, I'm talking to you. You come in. Got everything all set. Go ahead. I'll catch up. Don't be long. Watch this. Vanessa, we're still here. I told you not to yell at him. He doesn't respond to me. Then why yell at him? Because you don't listen. Because I'm not listening to this. Sorry, I've got to go. Where are you going? I'm meeting a friend, a girl. This is what. This is what you can decide by. I'm just hoping she's bish. They have huge parades of flowers every year and pass. Pass a dinna, there'd be a whole tournament of roses. It's every floor stream up on a float, surrounding by flowers, crowds cheering a tournament to do the roses, complete in athletic events. No, all right, I've got one. How come you don't fly everywhere? It's exhausting. Why don't you run everywhere? It's faster. Yeah, okay, I see. Yeah, all right, your turn. Tivo. Tivo. You can just freeze live TV. That's insane. You don't have that. We have Hivo, but it's a horrible disease. It's a horrible, horrible disease. Oh my, dumb bees. You must want to sting all those jerks. We try not to sting. It's usually fatal for us. You have to watch your temple very carefully. You can kick a wall, take a wall, write angry letter and throw it out. Look on emotions, jealousy, anger, lust. Oh my goodness, are you okay? Yeah, what is wrong with you? It's a bug. He's not bothering you. Get out of here, you creep. What was that? A pick and save circular? Yeah, it was. I do know. I felt like ten pages, seventy-five is pretty much our limit. You really got that science down. Wow, that's crazy. He <laughs> said, "Donate at the last second to piss me off." <laughs> you really got the science down. I lost to a cousin in Italy, Vogue. I'll, I'll bet. What's the name? The mighty Hercules is this. How did this get here? I'll be Golden Blossom, Ray Leo, but Private Select to see that actor. I've never heard of him. Why is it in here? Four people will be eating. You guys don't have enough of your own food. Well, yes. How do you make it? Bees make it. I know who makes it. It's hard to make. It's heating, cooling, stirring, a whole curling and thing. It's organic. It's our organic. It's just honey berry. Just what? Bees don't know about this. This is stealing. A lot of stealing. You've taken our homes, schools, hospitals. This is all we have. And it's on sale. I'm getting to the bottom of this. I'm getting to the bottom of all of this. Hey, Hector, you're almost done. Almost. Here he is. He is here. I sent him. Well, I guess I'll go home now and just leave uh, this nice honey with no one around. You're a busted box boy. I knew I heard some something talking, so you can talk. I can talk, and now you're going to start talking. Where do you get that sweet supplier? Who's your supplier? I don't understand. I thought we were friends. The last thing we wanted to do is upset the bees. You are too late. It's um ours now. You, are, you, sir, we have crossed the wrong sword. Yes, sir, I've launched for a bunch of iguana. What is the honey coming from? Tell me where. Honey farms. It comes from honey worms. Crazy person. What horrible things has happened there? These faces, they will never know what hit them. And now they're on the road to nowhere. Just keep still. What? You're not dead? Do I look dead? They'll wipe anything that moves. <sighs> or you had a tiny farm, so I'm on to something huge here. Okay, um, on to something huge here. I'm going to Alaska. Moose blood, crazy stuff blows your head off. I'm going to Tacoma and you. He really is dead. All right. Uh oh, what is that? Oh no, a wiper, triple blade, triple blade. Jump. Oh, and it's your only chance, B. Why does everything have to be so doggone clean? How much do you people need to see? Open your eyes, stick your head out of the window. From NPR News in Washington, I'm Carl Cat. So, but we, but don't kill no more bugs. B, moose blood guy. You heard something like what? The tiny screams? Turn off the radio. What's up, B-boy? Hey, blood. Just a couple of road guards. As far as I can see, wow, I assume wherever this truck goes is where they're getting at. I mean, that's honey our, that, that honey's ours. Bees hang tight. We're all jabbed. It's a close community. <sighs> Not us, man. We are on our own. Every mosquito on his own. What if you get in trouble? What if... You a mosquito. 
you get in trouble. Nobody likes us. They just smack us. See a mosquito smack. At least you're. Uh, at least you're in the world. You must meet girls, mosquito girls, trying to trade up. Fly with the grit, girls in mouth, dragonfly, mosquito girls. Don't want no mosquito. You gotta be kidding me. Moose blood's about to leave the building. So long, B. Hey guys, moose blood. I knew I'd catch you all down here. Do you bring your crazy strom? You throw it in jars, slap the label on it. We pretty much make pure profit. What is this place? A bee's got a brain the size of a pinhead. They are pinheads. Pinhead. Check the new smoker. Oh, sweet. That's the one you want. The Thomas 3000 smoker. 90 pups a minute. Semi-automatic. Twice the nicotine. All the talk. A couple breast knocks. I'm right out. They make the honey. We make the money. They make the money. We make the honey. Oh, my. What's going on here? Are you okay? Yeah, it doesn't last too long. Do you know then the fake? You know you're in the fake hive with fake walls. Our queen was moved here. We had no choice. Is this your queen? This is a man in women's clothing. That's a drug queen. What is this? Oh no, this. What happened? Feet master just subscribed. Thank you with the subscription. Appreciate it, dude. Thank you with that subscription. Back to the B movie. Um, B honey. It's hundreds of them. Bee honey. Our honey is being brazenly stolen on a massive scale. This is worse than anything bears have done. I intend to do something. Oh, Barry, stop. Who told who who told you humans are taking our honey? That's a rumor. Does it look like rumors? That's a conspiracy theory. These are obviously doctored, doctored photos. How did you get mixed up in here? He's been talking to humans. What talking to humans? He has a human girlfriend. They make out. Make out. Barry, we do not. You wish you could. Who side are you on? The bees. I dated a cricket once in San Antonio. Those crazy legs kept me up all night. Barry, this is what you want to do with your life. I don't. I want to do what's for all our lives. Nobody works harder than bees. Dad, I remember you coming over. So home over, so overworked. Your hands were still stirring. You couldn't stop. I remember that. Red, right? Do you have to our? What right do they have to our honey? We live in two cups a year. They put it in lip balm for no reason whatsoever. If it's true, what can one bee do? Sting them where it really hurts. In the face, the eye. That would hurt. Up the nose, that's a killer. There's only one place where you can sting a human, one place where it matters. Hive at five. Um, full hour action news source. No more bee beards. With Bob a bumble at the anchor desk. Weather and storm stinger. Sports with Buzz Levier and Janet Ohuga. Um, and Janet Chung. Uh, good evening. I'm Bob Bumble and I'm Janet Chung. A tri country bee, Barry Benson, intends on sell, su to sue the human race for stealing our honey, packaging it and profiting it illegally. Tomorrow, lay on Barry Larry, on Bee Larry King, will have former, um, who we'll have former, who we'll have the former queens in our studio discussing the new book, Classy Ladies, out this week on hex on the hexagon. Tonight we're talking to Barry Bunsen. Did you ever think, I'm a kid from the hive, I can't do this. Bees have not ever been afraid to change the world. What about B. Columbus, B. Gandhi, B. Jesus? Where I'm from, we never see, we never see humans. We were thinking of stick of a stick ball or candy stores. How old are you? The bee community is supporting you in this case, which the trial will be of the which will be the trial of the bee century. You know they have a Larry King in the human world too. It's a common thing. Co next week. He looks like you too and has a name and less spenders and colored dots. Next week, glasses, quotes the bottom of the gas, even though you just heard them. Bear week next week. They're scary, hairy, and live here. Always leans forward, pointy shoulders, squinty eyes, very Jewish. In tennis, you attack at the weakness. It was my grandmother, Ken. She's 81. Honey, her backhand's a joke. I'm, you know, I'm not going to take advantage of that. Quiet, please. Actual work going on. Is that the same bee? Yes, it is. I'm helping him sue the human race. Hello. Hello, bee. This is Ken. Yeah, I remember Timberland size, ten and a half, vibrant soul, I believe. Why does he talk again? Listen, you better go because we're really busy working. But it's our yogurt night. Bye-bye. Why is yogurt night so difficult? You poor thing. You must have been up hours for this. Yes, and Adam here. What does this say? Um. Wow. Okay. You poor thing. Two. Uh, 
Uh, frosting. Only sugar is just one. I try not to use the competition. So why are you helping me? Bees have good qualities and it takes my mind off the shop. Instead of flowers, people are giving balloons, baguettes. No, those are great. If you're three. And artificial flowers. Oh, those just get me too psychotic. Uh, psych yeah, me too. Ben Stinger's pointless pollination. Bees must hate those fake things. Nothing's worse than a daffodil that's ha had work done. Maybe this could make this could make up for a little bit. The lawsuit's a pretty big deal, I guess. You sure you want to go through with it? Am I sure? When I'm done with the humans, they won't be able to say, Honey, I'm home without paying a royalty. It's an incredible scene down here in, in downtown Manhattan where the world anxiously waits for the first time in history. We will hear ourselves if a honeybee can actually speak. What have you gotten into, Barry? It's pretty big, isn't it? I can't believe how many humans don't work during the day. You think a b billion dollar multimillionaire food companies have good lawyers? Everybody needs to stay behind the barricade. What's the matter? I don't know. I just got the chill. Well, if it isn't the B team, you boys work on this. All right, the Honorable Judge Bumbleton presiding. All right, O oh, number four forty seventy five, Superior Court of the. <sighs> I'm so tired. Yo, we have well have fun reading the whole. Oh, Luke's turn is here too. Nice. Yeah, guys, we're already 35 minutes into reading the whole B-movie script, actually. It's kind of inspirational. Um, Superior Court of the New York, Barry B. Benson versus the honey industry is now in session. Mr. Montgomery, you're representing the five food companies collectively. A privilege. Mr. Benson, you're representing all the bees of the world. You're kidding. Yes, Your Honor. We are ready to proceed. Mr. Montgomery, your opening statement, please. Ladies and gentlemen of the jury, my grandmother was a simple woman born on a farm. She relieved... It was man's divine right to benefit from the bounty of nature God put before us. If we lived in the top survey world, ben Mr. Benson imagines, just think of what it would mean. We'd have to negotiate with the silkworm for elastic and my britches. Talking bee? How do we know this isn't some sort of holographic motion put picture capped Hollywood, wi Hollywood wizardry? They could be using laser beams, robotics, ventriloquism, cloning. For all we know, he could be on steroids, Mr. Benson. Ladies and gentlemen, there is no trick over here. I'm just an ordinary bee. Honey's pretty important to me. We even, even important to all bees. We invented it. We make it. We protect it with our lives. Unfortunately, there are some people in this room who can think they can take it from us because we're little guys. I'm hoping that after this is all over, you'll see how by taking our honey, you're not take. You're only taking everything, but everything we are. Um, I wish she'd dress like that all the time. So nice. Call your friend witness. So you have Klaus Benham of Honey Farms, big company. You do, I suppose. So I have Honey Burton and Hunter Hunter on. Um. Uh, honey bear. Yes, they provide beekeepers who are farms beekeepers. I find that to be a very disturbing term. I don't imagine you employ any bee freers, do you? No, I couldn't hear you. No, no, because you don't free bees. You keep you keep bees. Not only that, you seem to thought that a bear would be an appropriate image for a jar of honey. They're very lovable creatures. Creatures, Yogi Bear, Frosty Bear, Bill the Bear. You mean like this? Bears kill bees. How you think living is head do? How do you think his head crashing through your living room, biting into your couch, spitting out your throw pillows? Okay, that's enough. Take him away. So, Mr. Stang, thank you for being here. What's your, your name intrigues me. Where have I heard it before? I was at a band called The Police. But you've never been a police officer, have you? No, I haven't. No, you haven't. So, another, yeah, we have another example of bee culture casually stolen by a human. For nothing more than a, pr a prance about stage name. Oh, please. Have you ever heard... Have you ever been stung, Mr. Sting? Because I'm feeling a little stung sting. Or should I say Mr. Gordon M. Summoner? That's not his real name. That's not his real name? You idiots. Mr. Lagoda first belated. Congratulations on your Emmy winning spot for your ER in 2005. Oh, thank you. Thank you. I see from your resume that you have devilishly handsome with a churning inner turmoil. That's ready to blow. I enjoy what I do. Is that a crime? Not yet. It isn't. But but is this not what it's come to? Exploiting tiny helpless bees so you don't have to rehearse your part and learn your lines, sir. Watch it, Benson. I could blow right now. This isn't a godfella. This is a bad fella. Why does someone just step in this creep? Can we all go home? Order in the court. You're all thinking it. Order, order, I say. Say it, Mr. Leota. Please sit down. I think there's a, 
I think it was awfully nice of that bear to pitch in like that. I think the jury's on our side. We're doing everything legally. I'm a florist. Right. Well, we ha here's to a great team. To a great team. Well, hello, Ken. Hello. I didn't think you were coming. No, I was just late. I tried to call, but the battery. I didn't want all this to go to waste. So I called Barry. Luckily, he was free. Oh, that was lucky. There's a little left. I could heat it up. Yeah, heat it up. Sure, whatever. I hear you're quite the tennis player. I'm not much for a game myself. The ball's a little grabby. That's that's where I usually sit, right there. Ken Barry was looking at your resume, and he agrees that eating with chopsticks isn't really a special skill. You think I don't see what you're doing? You know how hard it is to find the right f job we have in common, do we? Um, bees have 100% employment, but we do jobs like taking the crude out. That's what. That's just what I was thinking about doing. Can I let Barry borrow your razor for his fight? I hope that was all right. I'm gonna go drain the old stinger. Yeah, you do. Look at that. You know, I've just had about had it with your little mind games. What's that? Italian Vogue. Mama Mia. That's a lot of pages. A lot of ads. You remember what Van said? Your life is more valuable than mine. Funny. I can't seem to recall it. I think it stinks somewhere in here. I love the smell of flowers. Do you like the smell of flames? Not as much. Water bug. Not taking sides. Can I'm wearing a chapstick. Hat. This is pathetic. I've got issues. Well, well, well. Royal flush. You're bluffing. Am I surf subdued? Poo water. The bowl's gnarly, except for all those dirty yellow rings. Kenneth, what are you doing? You know, I don't even like honey. I don't need it. We need to talk. He's just a little bee, and he happens to be the nicest bee I've met in a long time. Long time? What are you talking about? Are there other bugs in your life? But no, the other bugging me in life, and you're one of them. Fine. Talking bees? No yogurt night? My nerves are fried and rolling. But goodbye, Ken. And for your information, I prefer sugar-free artificial sweeteners made by man. I'm sorry about that. I know it's got an aftertaste. I like it. I felt... Yeah, I always felt that... Um, anything happened in chat? Um, I'm super sorry, but I have to go because I have a baseball game. See you later. You are almost done. Stylo, is that you? Yes, it is me. Um, yeah, I know. We're almost done, actually. To be honest, we probably have about 25 minutes left of reading. Um, you know it's gotten up to taste. I always felt there was some kind of barrier between Ken and me. I couldn't overcome it. Oh, well. Are you okay for the trial? I believe Mr. Montgomery is about of ideas. We would like to call Mr. Barry B. Benson to the stand. Good idea. You can really see why he's considered one of the best lawyers. Yeah. Layton, you've got to wave some magic with this jury. It's going to be all over. Don't worry. The only thing I have to do is to turn this jury around. Is to remind them of why they don't like bees. You got tweezers? You allergic? You only, only to losing, son. Only to losing, Mr. Benton B. Um, we, I'll ask you what we think. What I th we think we all like to know. What exactly your relationship to that woman? We're friends, good friends, yes. How good? Do you live together? Wait a minute. Are you her little bed bug? I've seen a bee doctor many years. You, from what I understand, doesn't your queen bee give birth to all the bee children? Yeah, but so those aren't your real parents. Oh, Barry. Yes, they are. Hold me back. You're an intelligent. You're an illegitimate bee, aren't you, Benson? He's denouncing bees. Don't y'all date your cousins? Objecting. I'm going to pincushion this guy. Adam, don't. It's what he wants. Oh, I'm hit. Oh, lordy, I am hit. Order, order. The venom, the venom is coursing through my veins. I have felled by the winged beast of destruction. You see, you can't treat them like equals. They're striped savages. Stinging's the only thing they know. It's their way. Adam, stay with me. I can't feel my legs. What an angel of mercy will come to from my have heaving buttocks. I will order in this court. Order, order, please. The case of the honeybees versus the human race took a pointed turn against the bees yesterday. One of their legal teams stung Layton and T. Montgomery. Hey, buddy, is there much pain? Yeah. Um, you're almost done? Short movie? Yeah. Well, I mean, because in the movie, there's clips of animation in between, too. It's not just all talking straight. Can you give me good bloom? Yeah. Oh, also, got. I swear, if someone gifts, I'm actually going to be mad. Because I didn't know if you guys know this before. But if I get gifted the pack, the ghost pack, I'm restarting all the way to the beginning. I'm actually going to be mad because this is really exhausting. Um, um, hey, buddy. Hey, is there much pain? Yeah, I blew the whole case, didn't I? It doesn't matter. What matters is you're alive. You could have died. I'd be better off dead. Look at me. I've got... If they got those cafeteria downstairs and the tuna sandwich. Look, there's a little celery still going on. What was it like to stink so I can't explain. It was all the adrenaline and the ecstasy. All right. You think it was all a trap? Of course. I'm sorry. It flew right into it. What were you thinking? Look at us. We're just a couple of bugs in this world. 
what will the humans do to us if they win? I don't know. I heard they put roaches in motels. That doesn't sound so bad. Adam, they check in, but they don't ever check out. Oh my. Could you get a Could you get a nurse to close my window? Why the smoke? Bees don't smoke, right? Bees don't smoke. Bees don't smoke, but some bees are smoking. That's it. That's our case. That that it is. It's not over. Get dressed. You've got I've got to go somewhere. Get back to court and stall. I'll stall any way you can. I'm assuming you've done step correctly. You're ready for the tub. Mr. Flamin, yes, your honor. Where is the rest of your team? Well, your honor, it's interesting. Bees are trained to fly ha half haphazardly, and as a result, we don't make very good time. I actually had a funny story about your honor. These aren't haven't these ridiculous buds taken enough enough of the court's valuable time? How much longer will we allow these absurd shenanigans to go on? Um, they have presented no compelling evidence to support their charges against my clients who run legitimate businesses. I move for a complete dismissal of this entire case. Mr. Flayman, I'm afraid I'm going to have to consider Mr. Montgomery's motion, but you can't. We have a terrific case. Where's your proof? Where's evidence? Show me a smoking gun. Hold it, Your Honor. You want a smoking gun? Here's your smoking gun. What is that? It's a bee smoker. What? What? This? A harmless little contraption? This couldn't hurt a bee. The hot fly, let alone a bee. Look what has happened to bees that have never asked smoking or not. It's this what nature is intended for us to be forcibly addicted to smoke machines and a, ma and a man made wooden slat on work camps, living out our lives as honey slaves to the white man. What are we gonna do? He's playing species card. Ladies and gentlemen, please free the bees, free the bees, free the bees. Um. Free the bees, free the bees, free the bees, free the bees. The court finds in favor of the bees. Vanessa, we won. I knew you could do it. High five. I'm sorry. Okay, so you know what this means. With all the honey fighting belonging to the bees. Now we won't have to work so hard all the time. This is unholy preservation of the natural balance, Benson. You'll regret this. Barry, how much honey is out there? All right, one at a time. Barry, who are you wearing? My sweatshirt is Ralph Lauren, and I have no pants. What if Montgomery is right? What do you mean? We've been living the B way a long time. 27 million years. Congratulations on your victory. What will you demand as settlement? First, we demand a complete shutdown of all B work camps. Then we want our, the honey that was ours to begin with. Every last drop. We demand an end to the glorification of the bear that has anything more than a filthy, smelly, bad breath stink machine. We're all aware that what they do in the woods. Wait for my signal. Take him out. We'll have, he'll have nauseous for a few hours. Then he'll be fine. Um, and we will no longer tolerate be negative nicknames. It was just to prance around the stage names. Unnecessary in conclusion of the honey and bogus health products. A la di a la di da human tea time gnarly snack garnishments. Can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap it, Mr. Buzzwell. We just passed three cups, and there's gallons more coming. I think we need to shut down. Anything to say anything in chat? Why do you do this to yourself? I don't know, Nitro. I don't know. I said Nitro, and to make it even worse, I said if someone gifts me the new like ghost pack, I'm gonna restart all the way to the beginning. Like I'm at this point, I really don't want someone to do that because I've already I've been doing this for so long. I really if someone donates, I'm actually gonna be mad because like this is painful. <laughs> Okay, can't breathe. Bring it in, boys. Hold it right there. Good. Tap, Mr. Buzzball. We just passed three cups and their gallons were coming. I think we need to shut down. Shut down. We'll never shut down. Shut down. Honey production. Stop making honey. Turn your key, sir. What do you need? Cannonball. We're shutting down honey production. Miss it, aboard. Aborting pollination and nectar detail. Return to base. You, Adam, you wouldn't believe how much honey is out there. What's going on? Where is everyone? They're celebrating their home. You don't know what they're laying. They don't know what to do. Laying out, sleeping out. I heard your uncle Carl was on his way to San Antonio with the cricket. At least we get our honey back. Sometimes I think, what if humans liked our honey? So what if humans like this? Who wouldn't? It's the greatest thing in the world. I was excited to be a part of making it. This was my new desk. This was my new job. I really wanted to do well, and now I, now I can't. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be. If they... Okay, bet. Give me a sec. No, Nitro, stop. Nitro, don't. 
Alright, Nitro, please. I'm not, I'm almost done. I need to speed run this now. I can't. Okay, and now I can. I don't understand why they're not happy. I thought their lives would be better. Um, there's, they're doing nothing. It's amazing. Honey really changes people. You don't have anyone, any idea what's going on, do you? Um, what did you want me to show? This is what happened here. This is not on the half of it. Oh, no. Oh, my. They're all wilting. Doesn't it look very good? Does it? No. And whose fault do you think it's going to be? You know, I'm going to guess bees. Bees? Specifically me. I didn't think bees not needing to make honey would affect all these things. It's not just flowers, fruits, vegetables. They all need bees. That's their whole SAT test right there. They take away produce that affects the entire animal kingdom, and then, of course, the human species. So if there's no more pollination, it could just go south from here. It couldn't, and I know this is partly my fault. What about a suicide pact? How about we do it? I'll sting you, you sting me. That would just kill you twice. Right, right. Listen, Barry. Sorry, but I gotta get going. I had to open my mouth and talk. Vanessa, Vanessa, why are you leaving? Where are you going to the final tournament of the Rose Parade in Pensadena? They moved it all the way to the weekend because all the flowers are dying. It's our last chance I'll ever have to see it. Vanessa, I just wanted to say I'm sorry. I never meant for it to turn out like this. I know, me neither. The tournament of roses, roses can't be a sport. Wait a minute, roses, 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 Vanessa, roses, berry, roses are flowers. Yes, they are. Flowers, bees, pollen. I know, that's the last parade. You don't want the skins? I'll just give it this honestly. No, no, I do want the skins, but like I don't want to read this whole thing again. I mean, the skins are dope. Ah, I don't know. Nitro, do what feels best to you. Do what feels best to you. That's all I'm going to say. <laughs> if you want to torture me like this, go ahead. <laughs> um, Flowers, Beast, Pollen, I know. That's what this is the last parade. Maybe not. Could you ask him to slow down? Could you slow down? Barry, I made a huge mistake. This is a total disaster. All my fault. Yes, it kind of is. I, I've ruined the planet. I wanted to help you. At the flower shop, I've made it worse. Actually, it's completely closed down. I thought you were maybe remodeling, but I have another idea, and it's the greater than my previous ideas combined. I don't want to hear it. All right. They have my roses, the roses to the pollen. I know every bee plant and the flower bud in this park. All we got to do is bring back what they've got back in here with the... Uh, with what we've got, bees, park, pollen, flowers, repollination across the nation. Roses of the tournaments, um... I want skins, sad face. Yeah, I want skins. I also don't want to read this again. <laughs> uh, it's a, it's a, it's a trade-off I'm gonna have to make. Skins for reading a whole another hour of the script. How far are we on? We are 52 minutes in. What I gift you all of the item shop? Will you read it three more times? The whole item shop. <laughs> um, wait, it's, it's Nitro. Does the whole item shop include the pack? Does the whole item shop include the pack? Because I might not be able to read it all tonight, but I will definitely read it multiple times. But that's my question. Does the whole... Does it include tonight? I mean the pack. Like, does that... Is that part of it? Um, they've got nothing but flowers, boats, and cotton candy. Security will be tight. I have an idea. Vanessa Blue, an FTD, uh, official floral business. It's real. Sorry, ma'am. Nice brooch. Thank you. It was a gift. Once inside, just pick the right float. How about the princess and the pea? I could be the princess. You could be the pea. Yes, I got it. Or should I say... What are you? I believe I'm the P. The P? Easy. I would have read it ten times. Yeah, I'll read it, Nitro. But, like, I does that include the pack? Yeah, I'll read it a bunch of times, dude. I'll read it three more times if I get the whole item shop, including the pack. Where should I sit? What are you? I believe I'm the P. The P? It goes under the mattress. I'm not the fairy tale, sweetheart. I'm getting the marshal. This whole parade is a fiasco. Let's see what this baby will do. Let's see. Then all we do is blend in traffic without arousing suspicion. Once at the airport, there's no stopping us. Stop security and you and, s and sack your pack float. Yes. Has it been your possession the entire time? Would you remove your shoes? It's Remove your stinger. It's part of me. I know. You're just ha I'm just having fun. Enjoy your flight. Yeah? For what? Mm, we just lucky enough. Okay, guys. I have to go AFK. I'll be back. I'm kidding. I'm broke. Yeah, I know. The whole item shop's like $10,000. I gotta go eat dinner. I'll be back in 10 minutes. Not 5 minutes.
Oi, bruv, we're back. Back to get tortured again by my favorite live stream. Alright, we're back, boys. Okay, boys, let's finish this. Once and for all. Okay. Stop. Security. You're an insect. Packed full of it. Oh, wait, no, we already read that. Um, Attention, passenger. This is Captain Scott. We have a bit of bad weather in New York. It looks like we'll be experiencing a couple hours delay. Barry, these are cut flowers with no water. They'll never make it. I gotta get, gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I help with the Skyfall magazine? Um, can I help with the Skyfall magazine, man? Can I help you with it? Please, my brother, help me help help me help you, man. R Styler, read again. Okay, I'm reading. Sorry, gosh darn it, dude. Gotta get up there and talk to them. Be careful. Can I start? Can I help with the Sky Mall magazine? I'd like to order the talking inflatable nose and ear to hair trimmer, Captain. I'm in a real situation. What'd you say? How? Not how? Nothing. B. Don't freak out, my entire species. What are you doing? Wait a minute. I'm an attorney. Who's an attorney? Don't move. Oh, Barry. Good attention. Uh, good afternoon, passengers. This is your captain. What a Miss Vanessa Bloom in 24B. Please report to the cockpit and please hurry. What happened here? There was a dust buster, a tupee, a life raft exploded. One's bald. One's in a boat. They're both unconscious. Is that another B joke? No. One's. No one's flying the pain. This is JFK Control Tower, Flight 356. What's your status? This is Vanessa Bloom. I'm on floor. from New York. Where's your pilot? He's unconscious. And so is the co-pilot. Not good. Does anyone on board have flight experience? As a matter of fact, there is. Who is that? Barry B. Benson. From the Honey Trail. Oh, great. Um, Vanessa, there is nothing more than a big metal B. Big metal B? Big metal B. We cannot fly a plane. Why not? Isn't John Travolta a pilot? Jis. How hard could it be? Wait, Barry, we're headed into some light. Lightning, this is Bob Bumble. We have some late, late breaking news from JFK Airport. Where a suspenseful scene, a uh, suspenseful scene is developing. Barry Benson, fresh from the legal victory. That's Barry, is attempting to land a plane loaded with people and flowers and an incapacitated flight crew. Flowers, we have a storm in the area with two individuals at the controls with absolutely no flight experience. Just a minute, there's a bee on the plane. I'm quite familiar with Mr. Benson and his no current com compadres. They've done enough damage, but isn't he your only hope? Technically, a bee should not be able to fly at all. Their wings are too small. Having heard this a million times, the surface, of the, the surface area of the wings and the body mass makes no sense. Make no sense. Oh, shoot, my phone's about to die, dude. Face cam's about to be off, guys. I'm going to have to turn face cam off in a sec. CT is going down. This will be your guys' downfall. OMG, why? Yo, no, no. Nice. <laughs> oh, my, oh, shoot. We got a lot of people here to watch me finish this. Okay. Um, This will be your guys' downfall. Facts, yo. We haven't got a donation yet, which is actually really good, because if I have to read this whole thing again, I'm actually going to be probably going to cry for a bit. So, um, Okay, we haven't heard this a million times. Oh, wait. No, we're here. Get this on the air. Got it. Go, stand by. We're going live all the way to make it more mystery to you. Making honey takes a lot of bees doing a lot of small jobs. But let me tell you about a small job. If you do it well, it makes a big difference. More than it, it, we realized to us, to everyone. That's why I want to get bees back together working. That's the bee way. We're not made of jello. We're behind a fellow black and yellow. Hello. Right? Left, right, down, hover. Hover. Forget hover. This isn't so hard. Beep, 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 beep. Barry, what happened? I think... Wait, I think we were autopilot this whole time. And may have been helping me. That may have been helping me, and now we're not. So it turns out I cannot fly a plane. 
All of you, let's get behind this fellow. Move out, move out. Your only chance is that if I do copy the wings of the plane, <laughs> don't have to yell. I'm not yelling. We're in a lot of trouble. This is very hard to concentrate with that panicky tone of voice of yours. Um, um, it's not a tone. I'm panicking. I can't. I can't, where is it? I can't do this, Vanessa, pull yourselves together. You have to snap out, snap out of it, snap out of it. You snap out of it, 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 you snap out of it. Hold up, why, come on, it's my turn. How is the plane flying? I don't know. Benson, got any flowers for a happy occasion in there? The pollen jocks, they do get behind the bleh. What's poppin'? Brand new whip just hopped in. I um, my head. Wait, is my phone? Is my no? Got to connect my headphone. I mean my webcam back. But the whole arm um, and the ring, Vince Carter. <sighs> okay, let's do this. The pollen jocks. How did they get a black and yellow? Hello. All right. Let's drop this tin can on the blacktop. Where? Can't see anything. Can you? No, nothing. It's all cloudy. Come on. You got to think B, Barry. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Wait a bit. Uh, I think I'm feeling something. What? I don't know. I'm a str it's strong, pulling me like a 27 million year old stink instinct, bringing the nose down. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. What in the world? Mm, time to get some lights on them. Thinking B, thinking B, thinking B. Vanessa, I aim for the flower. Okay. Out of. Out the engines were going in and the B powered affirmative. Ready boys, affirmative. Good, easy now. That that's it, land on the flowers. Ready, full reverse, spin it on. Not that flower, the other one. Which one? That flower. I'm aiming at the flower. That's the fat guy in the flowered shirt. I mean the giant pul pulsating flowers made of millions of bees. Pull forward. Nose down. Oh, I'm so tired, guys. We're on the last stretch. Home stretch, home stretch. Gotta think positive. Gotta think positive. Pulling forward, nose, tail up, rotate around. This is insane, Barry. This is the only way I know how to fly. I'm cuckoo, kachu, or is this pla plane flying an instinct like pattern? Get your nose down. Don't be afraid to smell it forward first. Just drop. Be a part of it. Aim for the center. Now drop in it. Drop in and woman. And come on already, Barry. You did it. We did it. You taught me how to fly. Yes. No. High five. Right. Um, Barry, it worked. Do you see the giant flower? What giant flower? What? Of course, I saw the flower. That was genius. Thank you, but we're not done. Listen, everyone, this this runaway, we're almost done. Oh my gosh. This runaway is covered with the last pollen from the last flowers available out here on Earth. This means it's our last chance. We're not the only ones who make honey pollinating flowers. And dress like this, if we're going to survive as a species, this is a moment. What do you say? You're going, we are going to be bees. Um, we're going to be... Where was I? If we're, gonna, um, if we're going to be bees or just in museums and natural historian keychains. Bees. Keychain. Then follow me. Accept keychain. Hold on, Barry. Here, you've earned this. Yeah, I'm a pollen jock and this is the perfect fit. All I gotta do is the sleeves. Yeah, that's our Barry. Mom, the bees are back. If anyone needs to make a call, now is the time. I've got feeling we'll be working late tonight. Here's your afternoon change. We have a great afternoon. Can I help? Who's next? Would have been... Would... Would you like some honey with that? It's be approved. Don't forget these. Milk, cream, cheese, it's all. Man, I don't see a nickel. Sometimes I just feel like a piece of meat. I had no idea. Barry, I'm sorry. Have you got a moment? What would you like to see me? A mosquito associate will help you. Sorry, I'm late. He's a lawyer. I mean, I was already a blood sucking parasite. All I need is a briefcase. Um, have a great afternoon. Barry and I got this huge tulip art. Barry, I just got this huge tulip art and I can't get them anywhere. No problem, Vanny. Just leave it to me. You're a lifesaver, Barry. Can I help his next heart? Scramble jocks. It's time to fly. Thank you, Barry. The bee, that bee is living my life. Let it go, Kenny. When will this nightmare end? When will let it all go? Beautiful day. Um, sure is. 
Josh Nash. Uh, <laughs> this looks fun. Yeah, Josh, we're almost done, actually. We, we've been on here for an hour and 15 minutes. We're almost done torturing ourselves. Um, I start thinking B, my friend, thinking B for a second. Uh, yeah, I'm getting dying to get out of my office. Hold it. Let's just stop for a sec. Oh my gosh, we're on the end. We're on the end. We gotta let everyone know. This is where we're gonna speak our last sentences. No. Oh well. Alright, we better finish the last sentence, guys. No. Don't touch my stuff. I already turned it off, so get out of my face. Um, boys, last last sentences, and then we're done. Tell everyone and your mom. Guys. This is an inspirational moment right here, everyone. The last, okay. The last couple of seconds. I'm going to wait for a bit for everyone to get in here. So we can read these last sentences together. Because, you know, this is an inspirational moment right here, man. Okay, chat. Chat, we're about to read the last sentences. Hold it. Let, I'm going to wait till we get to... I don't think this is part of it. I've had virtually no rehearsal for that, but we're going to... Hold it. Let's just stop for a second. Hold it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Everyone, can we stop here? I'm not making a major life decision during a production number. All right. Take 10. Everybody, wrap it up, guys. Get pogs. I had virtually no rehearsal for that. Oh. We did it. We did it, chat. We did it. Chat, we did it. And we didn't get trolled, so I didn't have to read this whole thing again. We did it. Now let's play Fortnite. <laughs> Alright, well, we did that. Now let's play some Fortnite Battle Royale. I don't even have anyone to play Fortnite with, man. So proud of myself, dude. It's kind of inspirational, actually. It's actually kind of inspirational how we just did that, guys. Now I can be one of the peoples in the world. I'm at a rare percentage of the people in the world who have read the whole B-movie script. Oh yeah, but not a, a bunch of people haven't done it, so I'm... Exactly. Let's go, guys. That is Boggers. Now we play Fortnite. What is this item shop, actually? Oh, yeah, I forgot. Him. Oh, I like, I like him. He's cool. He's cool. Just, I only like his back play. His gun. Because he's not wearing a shirt. Yeah, I'm not even know what to do. I guess we could join a quick. I don't care. 